Greetings, my relatives. In our accordance to our oral tradition, I'd like to invite you to take a journey with me. Take a journey through what we call la mesa, the altar. We're going to take this journey to activate a place in which we use, a lot of our nations, indigenous nations use the altar through medicine work or oracle reading or healing methods, you know. And so we want to share with you to explore how to anchor our energies, how to anchor ourselves within the, what we said, the seventh direction, the, the, the Rakush, the center, uh, essence. And then anchor it with relationships to natural planetary cosmic forces, spiritual forces. Some of us use it, like I'll show you some of our mesas in a little bit to give you an idea, you know. So to anchor a mesa is to use for us as elemental forces. The fire, which connects to the sun, talks all the fires, they talk. It's mass communication, more than this internet and more than these computers. The water. Another huge network there. Uh, it's all in the symbiotic relationships with life. The air, the earth, and then above and below. And finally, the center, where you want to come to. I want to show you this mesa, this altar. These are tools that some have been gifted to me some I have found, some I've been, you know, uh, um, given as offerings for the healings we do. Some we have found in our altars in Patiapan, Guatemala, which are very ancient. Some from, from outer space, some are from Mother Earth, from underneath the oceans. Some are created, you know, from elements of life, you know, like in shapes and forms of Nahuales, we call them, energy fields, animal totems. Some are mineral, some are from animal, some are from plants, some are from essences of, of uh, combination of things that we have created, that have been gifted with, like these baskets that holds memories, ancient memories of teacher plants. So here's what, how we do our oracle. A mathematical equation through the, Ma through the Mayan uh, calendar. And so this is part of our mesa, where it's alive. We have the smudge, we'll have herbs burning, We'll have the fire and water together. We have medicines and plants alive. And I will show you this other part. Here's uh, something that was gifted to me, the Akoma pot. And uh, eagle feather I was gifted to be after a medicine journey in a teepee. And the other, a condor feather from when I was in Peru and inside the pot is ashes from hundreds of fires ceremonies from the elders council and some of our unification efforts that we've done throughout the world a crystal that my son gave it to me and some of the ancient pots from Pachapa these are thousands of years old feathers from birds and gifts uh, that we've done ceremonies with for for people. There are these are the gifts. I rattle to pray and sing, and then in that pot, I have the ashes from all my nine fires, and my twenty fires later, and then another twenty fires. So forty nine fires of my purification process, ashes are inside this pot. Come from Guatemala. Here are some of our 
communication devices, the crystals, they talk to each other, the jade mask. These are tools that we use for communications, like having a super computer here, talking with earth, talking with the heavens, talking with the plants and the medicines we carry. So these are our mesas. This is our intentions to hold ground, to hold frequencies of prayer, of holding medicine, spirits, spirits from the medicines, spirits from ancestors and all many people's efforts to hold prayers together. Here's another altar that we still develop into when we smoke the sacred pipes, we hold them to the, the buffalo here and the eagles. Send out our smoke, our prayers. Send out the prayers at, you know, different times of of day, night, you know, to send the healing love and the unification efforts. And here again, you know, we sit here with our medicine and all these tools, all these have been gifts, you know, gifts for to us to continue with the prayers and, the, and creating these messes. So these mesas, these altars, is a way to anchor all these energies that are happening around us, inside of us. To have a place to, to have conversations like we have right now through this computer or this phone. We talk, you, 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 you feel us, you sense us, you know, you, 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 you're seeing things here with this phone. But the mesa is thousands of times more powerful. And we anchor our essences. We anchor through the fire. With the fire, it talks to the sun. The sun is a mega, huge, as you know, uh, massive computer. You know, it, it sends out signals of gamma rays, alpha rays, like a, you know, all kinds of other, you know, rays of light. And it's communicating. It gives life. That those frequencies give life, like to the plants. To us and so the symbiotic symbiotic uh, relationship is that then we create a mesa we create an altar for specific purposes and this is our what we're going to navigate in the next seven weeks each time we'll look at another <clears throat> another element how to anchor let's an example the fire what is our fire doing inside of us? Are we angry? Are we frustrated? Are we, do we lose hope? Or are we inspired? Are we like, yes, we're in motion and we are fire strong. And, and then, you know, but maybe what is our water? Can we adapt to the changes that are happening? Can we control our emotions or can we navigate the emotional fields? And so we will look at all this in each week through the messes as we create our mesas, you know, as we put first a fire, then an earth, we'll go seek a stone or a crystal or something that's important to you, then put it in your mesa. And we'll talk a lot about, you know, it's already, we already recorded a, a class before, an uh, oral traditional process. And so this time is to activate it, create one all together, you and me, you and us. And together then, we start anchoring the frequencies of peace, anchoring the, the frequencies for the people made out of honey, for us to evolve into that golden light. And so this is our invitation to see you in this process. And uh, I thank you ahead of time for your time and your beauty, for I need you, we need each other. Uh, we've been using these mesas for the medicines, like altars for holding the, the sacred teachers, the process of healing, so that we're not just woo, flying all over the place as an anchoring. And as we experience all this chaos, all these frustrations, everything's coming up. It won't be nothing unturned. But also there will be this evolutionary process in which we can become the, the butterfly, the birthing process is going to be hard. It's, it's, you know, it's tearing some, some of our people apart. Everything must dissolve. 
Everything has to go through a change, and this is the time. So this is our invitation with love, grace, and gratitude to activate these messes, these altars for the purpose of connecting, of activating our, our ceremonial and the spiritual purpose of being alive. So, Matyoshawe, Aho.